Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope your week is going on well. As always, I appreciate you guys for joining back to watch the video. I know what time it is. It's time to talk about our Nigerian Super Eagles players and what they were up to. Uh, yesterday was a very important day for our Nigerian Super Eagles players. We saw a number of them actually, uh, you know, still in the spotlight in this area. Ah, uh, let me start with Victor Osime. Of course, Napoli played against Udinese yesterday and Osime got a goal for that match. But heading into that match, the build up to that game against Udinese, it was obviously reported that Osime was set to, uh, you know, uh, to be gifted a whopping 187 million uh, naira, which is uh, like around 120, 130,000 uh, euros, you know, if he gets a goal in the Udinese game. This is according to report you know infringed or written in his contract with napoli it was part of the terms you know part of the clauses in his contract that if he scores a goal against udinese he's going to walk away with this uh, massive amount of money and into the game they played 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 first half finished no goals yet it was zero zero osime was trying to get the goal but uh, you know it was a little bit difficult because we had a, a man in the in the goal post Okoye who I forget to mention he has been in top form you know recently for Udinese of course he was also outstanding yesterday keep blocking out a number of Osime uh, attempts and in the second half Osime finally found the back of the net by scoring a beautiful header a powerful header again Osimen knows how to score screamer goals. He knows how to score scorcher goals. And yesterday, the goal was a complete bullet of a header. No chance, Okoye, whatsoever. No chance the defenders, if you saw the way he ripped past these two or three defenders, to, you know, head that goal into the back of the net. But out of respect for o Okoye, his compatriot, Osimen refused to celebrate that goal. He just kind of walked you know, walked towards the towards the flank before his teammates started rallying around him and were celebrating with him. But Osime refused to celebrate in respect to uh, fellow Nigerian teammate Okoye. This is what we, we just love about Osime. He has so much respect. He is humble. Osime actually scored that goal in the 51 minute of the game, uh, courtesy of an assist from Politano. And then Fast forward later, you know, lots of build-ups, lots of attempts here and there. And in the 80 minute, 80th minute, the Sime obviously doubled uh, the lead. Uh, but it was a goal that was ruled off for an offside. I thought that was not an offside. But when I saw the replay, you know, it seemed like it was an inch. It was an inch offside off the mark. But again, you know, it could have been the goal that actually wrapped up that game for Napoli. Uh, but it was ruled off for offside and then in the later in the match in the 90 plus two minutes uh, Another Nigerian Zubaygus player in the name of Isaac success stepped up and then Got the equalizer for Udinese to prevent Osime and Napoli from getting that all three points uh, But again, it was you know such an interesting match to watch especially The fact that you know our Nigerian Zubaygus players obviously stole the spotlight we were the only ones that were in this in the score sheet. Osime and Isaac success actually getting uh, the goals for that game. Uh, Osime had lots of respect for his teammates, for his brothers, uh, you know, and he showed that by not by not celebrating. And then after the game, you could see uh, the respect between our Nigerian players, of course, Okoye, Osime, Isaac success, all of them, uh, actually showing that uh, respect and brotherhood amongst themselves. Uh, but uh, that aside, let me let you know that Ademola Lukman also uh, made an appearance for Atlanta because Atlanta played yesterday against uh, Selenitana. Selenitana, yes. And uh, they won that game two goes to one, uh, which is obviously very good uh, because our man is on the winning side. Uh, uh, but again, uh, Ademola Lukman could not find the back of the net. Skamacha continues his good form uh, by getting uh, one of the goals for for uh, Atlanta. Uh, Ademola Lukman, interestingly, he played from the start of the 
game which you know we've not really seen a lot uh, this season usually he would be put from the he would be introduced from the bench but it seems like uh, the coach obviously trusted him to give him a starting bet for that one and he did not disappoint even though he didn't score i thought ademola lupman obviously performed really well for the game um, getting uh, five shots you know at goal and then uh you know playing for 84 minutes his ratings uh you know are also good as well which shows you know that his uh, overall contribution to the team uh, was something impressive so with that uh, result for uh, Demola Lukman and Atlanta, things are looking uh, definitely uh, bright for them in terms of qualification to the UEFA Champions League next season. Of course, they are in the fifth position, which makes them uh, in this position to qualify for the Europa League. But they are seriously aiming to go up top in the in the table to be in the Champions League position. And that win yesterday obviously brought them to 60 points, four points behind Bologna. Who are in the fourth position so it's very uh, achievable for the model look man they still have one match um, outstanding and uh, you know lots of games to be played i think four total for them but three for the f top four clubs so they can still make it into the champions league position you know by getting a couple of wins and then hopefully maybe bologna loses a points a few points and or juventus uh, but again it was something very good to see uh, for Ademola Lukman. And then for Simi and Napoli, this season is a season to be forgotten. Trust me, it's not a, it's not a good season for Napoli and Simi, especially considering what they did last season, how they dominated the league, uh, you know, winning the championship with lots of uh, games to be spared. But right now they are in the eighth position and they don't look like even qualifying to the Europa League spots. They're just barely hanging on trying to see if they can finish on a high uh you know they've played 35 games and uh the remaining like three games for them 51 points way off the mark from top four position but they want to finish strongly especially for Osime. it's very important that he finishes strongly because he will not be playing in napoli for the next season so it would you know be nice for him to finish strongly so that when he goes to the next big club is going to go on a high and uh, for the last of the guys i'm gonna let you know that another nigerian spy goes young star by the name george ilani kana who plays for royal antwerp uh alongside the likes of our fellow nigerian spy goes players uh Ejuke and uh yusuf al hassan uh george of course has been in blistering form i've talked about him a few videos a few times a few videos ago and this time he is a subject of transfer interest from Inter Milan. This guy is called the new Osime. That's to show you how 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 much of a quality he has got, and he has been scoring lots of goals, like getting a number of assists. So, uh, you know, Antwerp this season has scored a number of winning goals for them. I talked about that, you know, on this channel. But right now, Inter Milan wants to snap this guy up from Royal Antwerp and bring him to. Uh, to Italy. Just a quick backstory about George Elenicana for some of us who don't really know him very much. He's a very, very talented young star, uh, 17 years old at this moment, uh, but he's been doing great things, uh, you know, for Royal Antwerp. He was born in Lagos uh, and then his family moved to, uh, to France when he was age three. And from there, he started playing football, going through the ranks. And when he made his uh, full, when he showed himself fully to the world was last season at Amiens, a League One club. And then after that very, very successful season, he was uh, bought by Royal Antwerp. That's where he's currently at right now, doing great things. And of course, uh, you know, his debut season at Antwerp uh, has been really, really impressive. And it's because, you know, he's been able to score uh, 14 goals, you know, in, in 40 appearances for a young star, only 17 years old. That shows his quality. Uh, but right now, you know, Inter Milan are uh, trying to get him because they see a very, very massive potential in him. And uh, of course, they know how Nigerians are, how talented Nigerians are, which is why they believe in in in, in a Lekana project that's the video guys thank you for watching this one make sure to like and share the video react to any of the stories if you connected to um have a good day ahead guys and stay tuned to the channel